Charlie Hustle was the nickname of uh, one of baseball's greatest players ever named Pete Rose. Pete Rose actually retired and held the all-time uh, hit list for Major League Baseball. Um, my favorite player was actually a guy named Rod Carew. And so, you know, it's one of those kinds of things you're, you're, you, you can only like one or the other guy. And so, you know, I was more of a Rod Carew fan. He played with the uh, California Angels at the time and being an Angels fan, he was my guy. But I always had a, a great admiration for Charlie Hustle. That was the nickname given uh, to Pete Rose by uh, another Hall of Famer, actually, New York Yankees, Whitey Ford. And it's pretty cool when somebody else glosses you uh, because of the way you go about doing your business in a positive manner. And so Charlie Hustle was given to Pete Rose just because of his his tenacity and his effort and, and the passion in which he played the game of baseball. You know, Pete Rose wasn't afraid to take risks. He wasn't afraid to uh, attack the game. He didn't care about, you know, what others thought about him. And and Pete Rose, in the way that he played baseball, you could just see that he loved what he did. Uh, since Pete Rose, there's been a couple other players that I, I really admire as well. One was uh, Mickey Hatcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers. And then Rex Hudler, the, the HUD man, he also played for uh, the California Angels as well. And all three of these really these guys really embodied the Charlie Hustle attitude. And so one of the things I wanted to talk about was, you know, sometimes, you know, you just don't have the talent. You know, maybe you you your skill set isn't quite there. Maybe it's because you're you're young or you're switching industries, you're new to the business. And, you know, it just might be that the only thing you have is your hustle. The only thing that you have is uh, your determination. And so I think it's a good idea for us to just kind of take inventory and take a look to see, well, are there things that we can add or improve uh, to to our business, to to the way that we go about our, our life, really. And so Charlie Hustle, there's about seven different uh, key points that I, I, I want to go over. And so the first one is fail hard and often. Fail hard and often. That really goes alongside of my, uh, you know, failure is an option uh, key motto. Because you know what? People who hustle you know what they fail and, and they fail hard they crash hard and and they and they do it often uh, big risk takers often have you know high impact crashes this is why so many multimillionaires uh have actually you know filed bank bankruptcy or or lost their businesses a couple different times because you know when you when you hustle you just get up and and you try it again you 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 get up you dust yourself off and you try it again, and you know what? You try and and work even harder. The second element I want to look at is eliminate all distractions. When you're when you're in the business of hustling, you you just you don't have time to look at outside, you know, you know, distractions. And so mm. you you keep your your focus, you keep your eye on your goals. And you just eliminate any distractions that get in the way of, of those goals. And so, you know, uh, Charlie Hustles, they, they're always looking ahead. They're always pushing forward towards the goal. And any distractions that get in the way, they, they just eliminate them. Well, the third point I want to look at is never quit. And this is one of my favorites, of course, of the hustle mentality, is, is you don't ever give up. Look, there's no timetable for success. I, I, I love the biographies and the success stories that I've read about, you know, businesses and people that really took a long time to develop. I, I know that nowadays we're really caught up in, you know, the 13 year old singer who's a multimillionaire or, you know, the 18 year old dot com guy who's worth billions, uh, you know, or that, you know, the you know, athlete that just seems to have, you know, overnight had instant success. But you know what? Um, most people, it actually takes time. And so the never quit mentality says, look, there's no timetable for my success. 
Um, and that used to be the way it was. It used to be that you started a business, you you planted, you cultivated, and you know it might take 20, uh, 20 years to forty years to actually really uh, find that that true final success. And so you never quit. You're you're always willing to work hard, uh, work from morning to night, and you just don't give up. There will be trials, there will be obstacles, but you never quit. The fourth uh, aspect I want to talk about is think outside the box. When when you when you hustle. When you hustle, and I love this about Pete Rose, and I love this about sports, the cool thing about sports is sports is designed to be a game that you play with rules, a game that you play with rules. And so you would think that there really wouldn't be that much innovation uh, for you know baseball, basketball, and football over the last hundred years because, I mean, for the most part, they're the same rules. But you know what? People think outside the box, and they contort their their body in a different way and they create new and different plays and they they implement different you know players and different body types and so this idea that you know you have to keep doing things the way they've been done before you know chuck that you know think outside the box see things completely opposite from others now i know that there's certain fundamentals and certain pillars and certain keys that are not going to change, you know, as far as, you know, good business, you know, the, the law of supply and demand, right? I mean, you, you know, in order to sell a product, um, there's, there's got to be a demand, you know, buy low, sell high, you know, definitely is a, is a key pillar. I mean, you know, you can't buy high, sell low. So yes, we have certain frameworks, but don't be afraid to be unique. You know, don't be afraid to identify and solve uh, problems uh, w- with different types of opportunities. Think outside the box. You know, color outside the lines sometimes. That, that's a good thing. The, the fifth element I want to talk about is uh, self-improvement, daily self-improvement. That really is a, kind of the anchor to, you know, my good, better, best philosophy, which is, you know, you never stop improving. It's continuous continuous improvement. It can be Kaizen, you know, Kaizen marginal games, just small incremental increases. That's fine. But devote yourself, hustle, devote yourself to to finding time to absorb information, finding time to hone your skills, to practice, to role play, to read books, to listen to uh, podcasts, go to seminars, whatever it takes. Just make sure that you're improving on a daily basis. The sixth aspect, of, you know, that we're looking at is uh, to embrace authenticity. Again, Pete Rose, there was nobody like Pete Rose. Pete Rose is a, a unique individual, the way he went about the game. In fact, it ultimately got him into trouble. You know, Pete Rose in his outside the box thinking and as a as a manager started betting on baseball and and he he was condemned from baseball and has not been allowed to be in the Hall of Fame, even though he's a Hall of Fame player, uh, because of it. But you know what? We embrace authenticity. We we embrace people who, you know, they're not shy. Um, they're, they're not afraid of who they are. Uh, you know, the, it, you, you, you see what you get, right? Um, and so that's okay. Uh, again, sometimes we want everybody to be a cookie cutter. And it's like, no, the uniqueness of individuality is really a beautiful thing. And so embrace your authenticity um, and, and, and don't be ashamed of it. And then finally, create your own opportunities. Create your own opportunities. You know, one of Pete Rose's uh, trademarks was he would dive in head first. You know, typically when we think of sliding, we think of feet first sliding. In fact, I haven't seen a head first slide in uh, in a long time. But not only would Pete Rose dive in head first, he had this style of of just you know propelling his body in air like superman and he would just dive into the bases and and really just kind of you know this this his his own brand of sliding i guess which again is why he's charlie hustle and you know in these different styles that you might do kind of creates your own opportunities uh, don't follow the pack do not follow the pack you know, again, there might be certain things that you need to do, but if you really want to be better than other people, if you really want to improve, then you're going to have to do something different. What the definition of insanity is, is 
doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results? No. You have to mix it up a little bit, create some new opportunities, burn a new path, take the load less, less traveled, right? And so when you think about uh, improvement, personal improvement, one of the things that every single person can do is to be like Charlie Hustle. 